Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my channel. Today's recipe is beef kofte in a instapot. Now the appliances you will be needing is a food processor or a very strong blender. Now the ingredients I will be saying as the video goes on. So the first ingredient you will be needing is um, one onion chopped up and you will need around three quarters of a pound of uh, ground beef. The seasonings you will be needing is one tablespoon of garlic, one tablespoon of chickpea flour, a half tablespoon of cumin, ground cumin, a half tablespoon of uh, ground uh, coriander, one teaspoon of ginger powder, two teaspoons of chili powder, two teaspoons of salt, and then one and a half teaspoons of garam masala. All these seasonings, you're going to put them in the food processor or blender with your meat and onions. Now, you're going to blend this until you get a fine um, meat. So all the onions will be blended into the meat and same with the seasonings. Everything will be blended into the meat. Now, before you start the actual cooking, you need to take the meat and make them into small meatballs. And the way to do this is that you will take some oil on the side and make sure that your hands are oiled at all times. Take small portions of the meat to make small meatball meatballs. You can make them bigger and put some eggs inside. They do taste really awesome like that. But um, my kids don't like eggs inside meat, so <laughs> I did not do that. Now the next step is that you will be needing around a half of a onion and a half of a tomato and a little bit of water and blend that until it's not chunky anymore. Mostly liquefied. Then you will take your Instapot out and put it on pressure cook on the pressure cook set, uh, setting and put it at high pressure for 35 minutes and have the keep warm setting on. Then what you're going to do is once that starts preheating, you're going to put in your onion and tomato mixture while it's preheating. And what you're going to do is you're basically going to dry out the water from the onion and tomato uh, mixture that we just did in the blender. As you could clearly see that I accidentally put too much water in my blender because I had a feeling it just won't blend. When you are blending the onions and the tomatoes, they both will leave out some water of their own. So only put around a third or even one fourth cup of water in it just to help it blend. I accidentally put one whole half of water in there and it ended up being too much water. So because it was just taking too much time to dry up, what I did was that I sifted the onion and the tomato mixture out and just put the water to the side to use later. Once you have your onion and tomato mixture like this where it's mostly dry, then you'll put around two to three tablespoons of oil in it. And you're just going to mix it around and still until it's fully incorporated with the onion and tomato mixture. And when you start seeing the oil bubbling on the side of this mixture, then you're, it's ready for the next step. So in the next time lapse, you'll see that the onion start, uh, the oil start bubbling around the onion and tomato mixture. At this point, you will take around one tablespoon, sorry, one teaspoon of coriander powder, one teaspoon of zero um, cumin powder, one teaspoon of salt, and a fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder and you'll mix this all together and throw it into the mixture and you're just going to mix it around make sure that it the oil is still bubbling on the sides and just really let those seasonings cook in with the tomato and onion mixture that you have now remember in the beginning the extra water that i had in the onion and tomato mixture this is where i use it again i added around to um, a cup and a half of water more so in total you'll use around two cups of water here and I threw that in with some whole garam masala whole garam masala would be uh, five to six 
uh, cloves, two uh, big cardamoms, one bay leaf, a, st- a small stick of cinnamon, and then around 10 um, whole black peppers. Then you're just going to mix it around for a little bit. Now that the onion and tomato mixture is fully incorporated with the water and you have your whole garam masala in there, you will take around one big tablespoon of yogurt, sorry, two big tablespoons of yogurt and put it into this um, pot. Now using a whisk or a rubber spatula, mix in the yogurt and incorporate it into the water. Make sure you do not have any lumps. Now the next step after this is where all the easiness starts. You're going to put in your meatballs and then you're going to close the lid and just let it cook. You will not be venting during this time so make sure not to press the vent button. You're going to actually let it pressure cook for the whole time that you put on. So for a whole 30 minutes it will be pressure cooking cooking. Once the instant pot is done letting out steam, open it and check it out. If you don't already know this, the two little holes on the side is actually there to hold your lid up so that whatever water collects on the lid can get drained out of the lid and go into a little water compartment on the back of the instant pot. Now, since the um, gravy for the kofte were not as thick as I wanted, I did let it cook open for around 20 minutes on a porridge setting. And I added around a cup of yogurt to help thicken it. So cooking it open actually lets all the extra water to evaporate and putting the yogurt in helps thicken it but make sure that if you add more yogurt you whisk it with some of the gravy beforehand before putting it into pot or else you will see little bits of yogurt just floating around and it does not look appetizing although the taste will not change. Um, This is my finished product. You can add potatoes in it. If you like this video, like this video and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos.